Hey guys, it's Jim from Illustrator Hell. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you three quick and easy ways to make hearts in Adobe Illustrator. Whether you are making a Valentine's Day gift cards or you're just designing heart patterns, you will find all your solution here in this video. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the method one. I will show you how to use a rounded rectangle to make a heart. So the first thing you need to do is to choose the rounded rectangle tool from the toolbar. It's usually under, I mean, it must be under the rectangle tool and the default is rectangle tool if you are not familiar with the toolbar. So go ahead and select the rounded rectangle and then go ahead and create rounded rectangle like this or actually it doesn't matter but it shouldn't be too long. And then the next thing you need to do is to click and drag this widget to make it like super rounded. And I hold the shift key and rotate it 45 degrees. And then go back to the selection tool, use a keyboard shortcut V, select it, make a copy of this uh, rectangle and place them together like this. And then you can move both of them together overlapping with the top one selected go ahead and flip um, you can go to the properties panel and choose flip horizontally or you can use a reflect tool and then select both rounded rectangle and go to the pathfinder panel click on the more options and choose divide and go ahead and select both and click ungroup if your Illustrator version doesn't have this uh, automatic toolbar right here, you can uh, right click and choose ungroup. So I'm just going to quickly choose ungroup. And then you can delete the bottom parts. So go ahead and hit delete. And now you will see the heart shape, but you will see the lines in between. So how are we going to do that? You can actually use the same Pathfinder tool, but go to Unite. And there's another way to combine the shape as well using the shape builder tool. So you can select the shape builder tool from the toolbar or use the keyboard shortcut shift and M with the, all the shapes selected, simply click and drag through the area that you want to combine. If you are not sure how to combine shapes, I do have a video um, talking about how to combine shapes in Adobe Illustrator as well. I will share the link in the description below. All right, so now that you have the heart shape, you can uh, change the color or resize it. Let's see how to change the color. So I'm going to get rid of the stroke for now. And uh, I'm going to choose, well, let's just choose a random color, make a couple of copies, different colors, and you can feel free to use it however you want. And now let's jump into the next method. Okay, you might be thinking that it's pretty interesting, like how do we make a heart using a square? But yeah, that's how it works. So go ahead and choose a rectangle tool or use a keyboard shortcut M to activate a tool and hold the shift key while you click and drag to create a square. Okay, since I already have the red color selected, I'm just going to keep it as it is. It's fine and uh, go to the selection tool hold the shift key again and uh, rotate it 45 degrees or 315. And then I'm going to select the anchor point tool. So it's uh, under the pen tool, click and hold the pen tool, and then you will find the anchor point tool or you can use the keyboard shortcut shift and C to activate the tool. So go ahead and click on the middle of the square that you just created and then uh, drag up. So you can hold the shift key while you drag. So you'll see something like this. And then same thing, go ahead and click on the other side of the square and then do the same thing, click and drag. Yeah, so this method is pretty easy. I would say that it's easier than method one. All right, so now let's go to uh, method three. This is going to be more freehand style hard. You can use either the pencil or brushes to make that. So actually it's super easy and I, I, I guess you can already imagine how it works. So. Basically, it's just um, select the brush tool or select the pencil tool if you want to use pencil. Uh, I mean, they basically work the same. Remember to switch the fill and stroke. You can do that from the toolbar. Simply click the switch um, bottom or you can use a keyboard shortcut shift and X to swap the fill and stroke. 
and then simply just go ahead and uh, click and drag to draw the heart shape on your artboard. If you use a pencil tool, you are able to edit the anchor points or maybe to smooth the line. Well, go to the smooth tool and kind of smooth the lines of the heart that you draw or use a brush. It. Yeah, and then you can go ahead and change the stroke here, stroke profile, if you want to make it a little bit different. Or you can change the brush stroke. I'm going to group them. And you can open the brushes panel or use the properties panel. And you can choose any of the brushes, strokes. Alright, so I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you find this helpful, please give me a thumb up or subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of the future tutorials on my channel and uh, if you find it a little bit hard to follow i do have uh, an article on my blog that i write the very detailed step-by-steps tutorials on how to make hearts yeah so you can also find the step-by-step -step tutorials on my blog and you will see the three different methods and then i also have the very detailed step-by-step -step with screenshots so then you can follow it easier together with the video and if you have more doubts i do have a faq section or other questions that you might have about how to make heart in adobe illustrator so if you're interested you can find the link to my blog uh, in the description below okay hope to see you in my next video bye